Hey there, I'm Jason. I'm a registered polysomnographic technologist or a sleep tech. And this is a video that has been a long time coming. I can't believe I actually didn't do this as like the first video. But here's the question. What do you do? How do you set up your CPAP stuff when you get home with it for the first time? This can be, um, I'm finding a little tough. So I have uh, my CPAP set up here and I have my mask and uh, this is my bedside. I'm assuming yours probably looks something similar. So some of the first things you want to consider is what if I have, well one, where should I put my machine? Usually you wanna have your machine either level with the bed, you can see mine is actually a little higher, which uh, is not a good thing. And the reason for why is if you were to have your tubing like this, we're just looking at the angle of the tubing and my head's gonna be sleeping down here with this, my mask, if there's any condensation in the line, and the condensation is going to occur if it's colder on the outside than it is on the inside, and what you'll get is you'll get um, water forming in here, and what it's going to want to do is pull down to the lowest point, which is either going to be your tube sagging down here, in which case this will be completely occluded, and then you'll hear a bloop, 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 and that's not good because you're not getting the right amount of pressure, and you're not really breathing. Um, but the other thing, it blocks it, and it's going to put weight on it and pull it down, the other thing is if you have this completely level like this, the water is just going to flow all the way down and uh, shoot you right in the face and you're going to be basically breathing in water. Both situations suck really, really bad. Trust me on this. Possible solutions? Have, uh, if you have a headboard, I don't have a headboard, but if you have a headboard and you drape this up over here and then this is coming down to you, that actually solves a couple problems. One is any condensation that comes up here is probably going to grab onto the tube here and then run right back down into the humidifier basin. This is a good thing. <laughs> it's not going to be getting to you. Um, the other thing you can do, I'm sorry, what this also accomplishes is it takes weight off of this. So you can, you can move freely because most of the weight of all this is being supported up here. So hang it over your uh, headboard or they have these things that are hose holders. Uh, I believe... Um, One's called Hose Buddy. I mean, I've never tried them, I'm not like endorsing it, I'm just saying that they exist. Um, other people have made them out of PVC piping. Um, I'm, I can't imagine it takes a long time to make. You can probably rig one up out of um, like a, a clothes hanger, a wire clothes hanger. Uh, another thing you can do is actually, if you don't want this level with you, you can put it down lower or like on the floor. So just for this example, I'm just gonna put it on the floor. <laughs> So now it's on the floor, we can't even see it, but it accomplishes the same thing. Uh, the tubing is coming up to me and the water and the excess would be going back down to the bottom. Okay, some other things to consider. Um, sometimes that humidification isn't a big problem because they have this climate tubing now where it's heated inside of it and so it prevents that condensation from even forming it. It heats up the tube. If you don't have the heated tube, some of the things you can do is you can um, actually cover this with some something. Um, I've recommended in past videos just covering it with um, pillowcases and you can rubber band the ends. The other thing you can do is actually put them under the covers with you uh, and that works the same way. Um, so what about the power uh, consideration? Obviously you need to have a power source nearby, but um, some people live in areas where the power goes out a lot. Like I know Florida apparently is one of them where you get these lightning storms and uh, the power will cut out for a little bit. Well, if you have a machine that's helping you breathe and that cuts out, you can imagine that sucks a little bit. Um, so what they do is they sell these things, the um, uninterruptible power supplies, the UPS, um, and those will keep it running. You know, if it cuts out for 20 minutes or so, it'll, it'll keep it running during that time. So all you do is you plug your machine into this UPS unit uh, and you're good. As long as the UPS unit is plugged in and fully charged as well. Something else to consider. If you have cats, like I do, that looks like a cat toy to me. Sometimes people will find that they have um, holes in their tubing. Well, little kitties like to go and they'll put little holes all through these things and uh, eventually you'll find yourself with a leak so sometimes it helps to cover this up again 
or wrap it up and keep it somewhere out of reach so that the uh, old kitty cat can't get to it. Okay, another thing when you get this home, is it doesn't have much to do with setup, but clean your humidifier out daily. Uh, this gets, you can see it's fairly dark in there. It's heated up from the night before and it's moist. Moist, heat, and dark. Hmm. You're going to get bacteria in here. So open it up, dump it out, fresh, start with fresh water every night, um, and you will definitely minimize your chance of sinus infection. Now what about the back of this unit? This thing's taking in air, right? Here's the air intake. And so if you have this jammed up against a wall, boom, it's not going to be getting any air in. So you want to make sure you have it in a spot that's away, away from uh, dust bunnies. And you also want to make sure it's about four inches from the wall. So if I put it right here, it's plenty of clearance uh, behind it. There's no dust bunnies on the top here and uh, we should be good to go. Now, if you follow these few tips, hopefully you'll have a little better go at it. A little more success right up front makes the whole procedure and the whole process of sleep apnea treatment a little easier to handle. Um, it might even make you sleep better. Um, if you have any problems or questions, you can visit my forum, freesleepadvice.com forward slash forum, um, as well as my website, freesleepadvice.com. And uh, other than that, happy sleeping. Do you find that video helpful? I hope so. If so, check out my channel. Uh, it's the Lanky Lefty. 27 uh, and I believe you can also just type into YouTube free CPAP advice. I believe I have that saved. If you found it helpful, check out my channel. I have a lot of little self-help tips in there uh, on sleep, um, looking at sleep and uh, figuring out sleep on your own. Uh, lots of tips and tricks. For other questions, you can visit my forum, freecpapadvice.com forward slash forum. I also have a lot of articles and mask reviews at freecpapadvice.com. If you find these helpful, I would completely 100% appreciate it if you would uh, tell your friends, tell people you know that you see PAP, uh, family members, friends, coworkers, um, anyone that uses it. I'm trying to get my channel nice and big. Um, thank you. I appreciate it. Take care. Sweet dreams. Good night.